Welcome, friends. It's your old pal, Sir Nigel, here with another season of Creativerse. A new season on a new server. And in this episode of Creativerse, this first of the season, we're just going to get started. You can see this is the map here. We're right here in this magic little square. This is the house we've built so far. Using the magical interact key, there's nothing in it except a few torches and some wood. Lots of wood. But we're not going to pay too much attention to the house itself. The house is just going to be an entryway for adventure. You'll see what I mean as we progress through the game. I'm thinking of building a rather special base this time. In past seasons, I've built bases where there were a bunch of little buildings here and there scattered across the area like a small town to serve various purposes. But this time, I think we're going to do something different. To begin with, though, let us take a look at our crafting menu. What should we craft next? We can craft one of these. It needs snow, coal, and leather. So we're not going to worry about that. It's a special part of the recent update. But we should start by creating, of course, the crafting bench thingy, the processor, as it's called. So we've already collected cragwood. So next, we need to collect stone, and then that will unlock the recipe for the processor. Let's see, we put our um, teleporter thing here as a way to as a way to easily find our way back to our base. We could put it back in our base. I think we'll just leave it there for now. Just like magic. Now, where do we want to go to try to find uh, some of the stone? I do like having a base in this foresty area. I think we'll head off to the northeast between these uh, watery bits. Or maybe, actually, maybe we'll head south to this more mountainous hilly region. And perhaps collect some stone from there. Oh, while we're on our way. Let's get some magic red flowers. So I've only been playing this particular server just long enough to collect a few of the most basic items and build that little base that you saw. We'll switch over to our Magic Sword of Smacking, which is actually just a, a tree branch at the moment. Magic tree branch of smacking. Can we climb up these vines? I don't remember. Let us find out. Why, yes, we can. That's wonderful and everything. But, uh... Not particularly helpful in our current quest, but that's okay. I think this section right here is probably an excellent place to begin mining. We can start heading down this way. And this can be our first, shall we call it a, a temporary mine? As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, let's mark it there. Now it is quite obviously a very special important place. Hello little birdie, how are you? How are you little birdie? What, what's your name again? Uh, Chizard? I think it's much stronger than we can currently handle with our current gear. Besides, I'm not in the mood to smack around on little birds at the moment. A bit more 
light here would be good. Let's say right about there. We really are only trying to get down far enough to collect stone this time. So we're not trying to make a, a big complex uh, mine here. Although we do need more light. We need moss, of which we have four, and cragwood, of which we have one. So that will at least give us enough to hopefully get down to the good rocky stuff. And here we are. Let's pick up some of that. We've unlocked a variety of things. Hooray for a variety of things. We'll pick up a little more while we're here. Not too much, though, because like I said, we're not too concerned about making this a big mining place. Because that's not what we're all about here. We don't want to jump too far down. Oh, look, it's coal. But we don't have... Uh, an extractor, do we? An extractor needs the processor before we can build it. But we have unlocked the processor, so now we need eight cragwood. We have plenty of stone and two vines. And we can even create an advanced mining cell. But that needs wood slabs, which needs the processor, of course, and coal as well as some of the other stuff we already have. Well, we know coal is here. If we want to come back and, and get it later, we know the coal is here. So that may be precisely what we do. But for now, we'll just make our way back out. As a matter of fact, let's put that recipe on our screen to help us remember what we need to get. So we need to get more cragwood. That is the most immediate necessity. There. Should be pretty easy to find this location again on the map where Right here, right at the edge of the savanna. Looks like there's a little bit of snow right down here. So now we just need to head back to our teleportation pad, which is this way. Now, for those that aren't as familiar with the game, that haven't noticed this before, if you look at the compass at the very top of the screen, you can see that the icon for the teleportation pad is very small. And the closer we get, the bigger it gets. So that's an interesting mechanic to let you know how far away you are from an area or location you have marked. Okay, so cragwood and vines. That's some moss, which we can uh, collect also for more torches. Little bit of that. And we don't want to jump around and try to get that. So here's both cragwood and vines in a friendly, easy-to-access configuration. And we've uh, discovered a sapling, so we can plant the sapling and grow a new tree of our own at some point, if we so wish. If we have the desire within us to do such a thing. We'll just collect up a whole bunch of ye old craggy wood while we're here. We can sort of form steps out of the tree itself to help us 
get up the tree. Of course, we have to be a bit careful. Safety is key. Also, keys are keys. Just to be clear. I think that should be a, a pretty safe, pretty safe place here. Oh, well, that's enough for now, I think. We can turn a lot of this into uh, materials to use with the processor, which we will shortly create and place in our base, as is the standard way to get started in Creativeverse. And were these not cabbages? Lettuce! Similar to cabbage, although, to be honest, I prefer cabbage. All right, we'll create our processor. You discovered a crafting station. Crafting stations take raw materials like wood and process them into crafting components. The processor will chop and shred materials like wood, stone, and vines into materials like slabs, rods, and twine. The forge will heat materials like beeswax and iron ore into melted wax and iron bars. Magnificent! And there's the forge recipe right there. We need stone slabs, six stone slabs, six wood slabs, and six bedrock, which means you have to mine down a bit before you can create the forge. You have to be able to uh, collect bedrock from somewhere in a miney type place. So that is, as you can see, something they have added to the game since the last time we played it. In the previous season is they've added those tutorial tips so I don't think we actually created the um... no we did create the processor there it is we'll place it well I don't know Seems like a good as no place. No, let's place it here. That's that's a nicer place for it, yes. And we'll just put it in the back for now. Temporary location, eh what? Right here. Right uh, blocked by the torches. There. A place of honor. A place of beauty. A place just for you. Yes. Now, what do we need to do next for this? We have the stone, we need wood slabs, and coal. So, in order to get the wood slabs, we need to process some of the wood. In order to get the coal, we need to get the coal. With the, um... With, with the extractor. Where's the regular? This is the advanced extractor. This is the super extractor. Oh, duh, here it is. The regular extractor. Two stone slabs, two wood slabs. So that's pretty simple. We need wood slabs for this anyhow. And coal. Which we need for this. So we'll just start off with the two stone slabs, two wood slabs. Chop two. That, no, that's a wood column. That's a wood column. We don't want that. We want... That's dirt. Here it is. Here's the crag wood. So, we'll do... Um, oh, six. Six wood slabs. That sounds like a good plan to me. As it processes most magically. And then we'll do... Six stone slabs to complement them. Compliments are always nice, especially if they're sincere. Just wait for this to finish. 
Completing and making those slabs. Oh, yeah. That's right. Gotta make them slabbies. Slabber wabbers. And there we go. Collect all of that junk and look at all the wonderful things we've discovered. Hooray for discovery. No, no. Right. So then. Yes. We can now make an extractor. You discovered an extractor. Place an extractor from your quick bar onto an ore node with right mouse button. Extractors collect resources from hardened nodes like coal and obsidian found in caves. Like we already saw. So, it's going to be getting dark soon in the game world. So, uh, that, I think, is good enough for now. And good enough for this very brief first episode of the new season of creativeverse in the next episode we'll go get that coal develop the next uh, mining cell upgrade so we can develop um well that's our main goal right now is just aiming for the mining cell upgrade and then going from there so we can start to build our new magical base in all its glory so I hope you've enjoyed watching, liking, and subscribing are wonderful things to do. And tune in again next time for more Creativerse fun.